thank you to a special lady, Pesi Khan, my dear. Wow, inspirational. Honestly, inspirational. Uh, self love is undervalued, one thing for sure. And we all need to treat ourselves with kindness. That resonated with me. So I hope everyone will go to their corner as she demanded. Should I say demanded or inspired? That we must all sit in our little corner and ask ourselves, Lolo, what are you doing for yourself? How are you thanking you? And if you do that, you will see that you undervalue yourself so much. And I dare you to change it. Wow. Pesahan. Thank you, Sissy. You can just come up. I just want to appreciate you. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Vlogging and Stuff with Madam Speaker. I know that you already knew that I was going to give this vlogging thing a name because I prefer to give names to things, guys. I cannot just call things things. They have to have a name. So today I will be at Matla Power Station to deliver a special message to my colleagues there by Matla Power Station. So I'm driving all the way from Lepalale to Matla. Come with me, you. Come with me. So one thing about me that I believe you already know because most of the videos that I deliver like powerful stuff is always in the car, okay? I absolutely love driving alone. I drive so many hours alone and I'm just in the zone. I'm in the moment. Thoughts start flowing when I'm driving alone. So I'm actually enjoying this drive and the N1 is not so busy. So yeah, I'm just cruising and thinking and stopping by the side of the road and recording whatever that I'm thinking because writing is still a big problem for me and I continue with my journey and it was my first time driving this side of Mpumalanga. Actually, I've never really driven to Mpumalanga, you know, by myself. So yeah, I really enjoyed this. I actually didn't like the trucks, you know, because the people who drive trucks on the road, they just don't have any respect for other motorists. You know, like literally you'd see a guy coming, trying to overtake in front of you and they don't even want to stop because why not? You must just make means to step by the yellow line. I hate that, you know, because literally as somebody who's driving a small car, you die and you disappear and the truck driver is like, ah, oh, I don't know what happened. So yeah, but anyway, thank God I made it to um, Secunda and I just saw a garage. I'm like, yeah, let me stop here get myself a cup of cappuccino because I'm a coffee junkie like that. Like, I don't care whether it's 40 degrees Celsius outside. I'm going to stop and have my cappuccino. I would rather have the aircon and maximum and the temperature on minus whatever, you know. But I'm having my cappuccino while I'm driving because, yeah, that's just what I do. Okay, so after that stop, I'm about like 20 kilometers away from the place where I'm booked. That is Graceland Hotel and Casino, guys. Um, there was some funny vibe, you know, some funny vibe when I was entering the place because I was like, I don't even understand. That's not the place where usually we get booked when you book on the system. But hey, you know what? Let me just go in there because the place doesn't look bad from the outside, but it's giving me some funny vibes. But I was like, okay, let me just go in there and see why is it giving me funny vibes. I kid you not, at this point, I was starting to feel like I'm in a trailer or a horror movie. Like, as I was driving through, I was like, you, Harie, let's go see what's what. So the minute I enter the hotel, I realized that actually now it makes sense why it's giving me funny vibes. Because the people who are here are actually here for gambling. The gambling is right in front of the reception. So basically, people who are here are stressed because all their salary just went down the drain with the gambling so now they're just not okay so that's like, that's why everybody's just like giving me weird vibes like everybody's just so serious about everything but i'm like hey you know what let me just mind my business let me go up there and see what the room is looking like so i wake up in the morning ready to start my day and do what i came here to do which is speak to the people at my power station it was nice and bright and sunny and when i opened the window I'm like, how? I open the curtain, I see that there's a nice pool there, but it looks green. I'm not so sure if that's just green because it was painted green or what, but hey, I'll see the pool when I come back from my power station. Let me just go do my thing first. Then I'll see all this other stuff afterwards. That's me there driving to my power station and I get there. It was such a nice and smooth drive. You know, like I said, that I always enjoy driving in places that I've never driven into because I actually even slowed down because I'm not, you know, about to hit potholes and stuff like that. And Matla Power Station obviously looks nothing like Matimba Power Station. I get there, I see my colleagues are dressed up and ready for the event. 
and everybody is just you know hyped up and ready so that was nice and as we go in that's my sister gloria right there she was the one helping me vlog and take videos of everything shout out to gloria love you sis um so yeah that's how it was looking on the inside it was saying corporate management is here okay that doesn't sound like employees who've worked hard throughout the year let's try it again good morning Oyamora, Lochani, Sanbonani, Ita. That's better, that's better. Welcome to the most auspicious and prestigious. Just bow our heads, those who can stand up, they can still do so. Heavenly Father God, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we thank you, we exalt. I think we just want to break the ice a bit after the keynote address. There's a guy called Mr. Z. Um, he's sitting somewhere. Can you just ask around if you are sitting next to Mr. Z? If it's a guy, just ask him, are you Mr. Z? He's a surprise. Just ask. If you found him, just stand up. If you are Mr. Z, just stand up. There is Mr. Z. Can you give me something dramatic for Mr. Z? Because he has a, a drum. Let's give you a round of applause, it's going to give us a performance. If you have a pen and paper, please write it down. Yeah. It's called electrogasm. Wow. Electrogasm. Say it, guys. Yeah. Hey, you guys are educated, you are managers. Say it. Electrogasm. Say it. Electrogasm. This word is derived from the word okay, occurrence. Ah, ladies, the comment. <laughs> oh, yes. I see the ladies there. Their eyes are popping like this when they hear the word occurrence. Yeah, my friend. This is the excited, the, 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 the exciting feeling that you get. My book is. <laughs> You guess. She got me. You get this exciting feeling, you know, when when there was no shading in the empty scan bag, you get electro gassing. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? All right. Yeah. Uh, let's move to the words of inspiration. Um, we have in our midst uh, Miss Percy Hang. I just want to read something that does give it to me so that we can understand who's coming to give the word of inspiration. Perseverance Maremeni, stage name, Madam Speaker, is a motivational speaker and a digital creator. A host of an annual women's conference and ladies bootcamp called Loving Yourself Back to Life. She's a part of a YouTube and TikTok creator programs with more than half a million followers who consume her motivational content. Madam Speaker was recently selected as one of the 140 black content creators in the world for YouTube Black Voices class in 2023 or oh, for 2023. A global initiative by Google and recognize to recognize and empower black content creators. I think we can give her a round of applause for that nomination. She calls herself the CEO of self-love because her motivational talks are around loving oneself. Within the business, she works at Madimba Power Station in the maintenance department. So she loves the plant. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, can we give a round of applause to Miss Percy Hang, who's going to do the word of inspiration. Let's give her a round of applause, a round of applause, a round of applause. So, I actually did not include my speech on this vlog because it's like 30 minutes long 
So I posted it separately. So if you would like to know what I said to my colleagues there by Matla Power Station, you can just go on to the actual video and watch it. And yeah, come back and finish the rest of the vlog. But it was so fun and I really enjoyed delivering the speech. And one thing I can tell you is that I feel alive when I'm on the stage and I'm sharing messages. And when I get positive feedback, well, that is awesome. But I feel awesome first and I feel great with delivering the message that I'm delivering. And everybody else saying something positive about my speech is just a cherry on top of a cake which is already made and already there. So please go watch the rest of the um, speech on the other side and come back and watch the rest of the vlog. With that being said, thank you so much. So after my speech, we took a break and then when we came back, people started receiving their awards department by department, manager by manager. It was such a beautiful thing to watch, you know, and it's so inspirational. And then we had our three course meal. Okay, that's the starter, that's the main and that's the dessert. So the lady who was sitting right across me won the manager of the year award. She is the outage manager there by Mata Power Station. It was such a beautiful thing to watch. I mean, the manager of the year award is like the biggest of them all. And she and her team showed that really they're capable because they've been receiving awards throughout the day, you know. So shout out to the outage team. I hope all my other colleagues are actually learning and are inspired and would also come to the party i'm also inspired on a personal level to say listen i must just keep winning congratulations team outage matter power station like that we are done and dusted with the managers awards now it's back to the hotel room to rest one more day before we head back to Le Palale, back to the bundus So I wake up Friday morning, it's time for me to drive back to Le Palale and I'm looking at this cute thank you gift that I got from Mata Power Station. It went straight to my heart, it's so cute. But also I'm looking at that side over there, the pool area. I haven't seen the pool area, maybe I should just look at that on my way out. It's actually not bad at all, it's actually quite nice. Um, remove the casino and all that stuff that I don't like, um, I would come back to the place. It's not bad at all it's just that i found people busy there mowing the lawn so i couldn't really do my thing i couldn't get into my swimwear or anything like that so i just chilled there and opened my package and started you know chewing on whatever that i can chew there before i could hit the road and yeah basically that's how my day went at Mata Power station uh, it was quite refreshing for me i enjoyed myself until we meet again on the next vlogging and stuff with madam speaker thank you so much for watching i absolutely love and i adore you